It's a fresh berries me and Kayla got this morning. Four cups. We're going to make some homemade strawberry ice cream. I got my sugar. Add a little bit of vanilla. You can add anything you want, really. Just whatever your taste preference is. But we're about to do that. Hang on. Add a little bit of vanilla extract. Okay, that's good. Let me put that up, okay? Alright. Pour in the sugar. Blend, blend, blend. <laughs> I make strawberry ice cream. Strawberry fresh from the garden. Take a minute. Some ice in and then do your work for it. Eat this part out. Be careful, you don't want to get your hot salt and your cream beef in your ice cream thing because you will taste it in your ice cream. We've done that last time. Okay. You just pour that out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no, no one it to be like it was last time. It wasn't bad, but every once in a while when you took a bite, you could taste a big hunk of salt. The ice in there is not good with that. There we go. Progress. Yeah. I didn't really the 20 pound bag of ice when I got it. It was like a normal 10 or 12 pound bag. But it was not. Stop. Oh, Maybe we need to pour that in the cup next time. Maybe, Kay. Okay. Always put your in the freezer before you do this. You know, some people say overnight, it's just not good and cold. Like I was going to do it in an hour, but it's cold, so it doesn't need to stay any longer. Another layer of rock salt. It just helps preserve your ice and it off be really cold. <laughs> Let me have to just take a paper towel down in there when I get done. Okay, we're gonna put one last layer of top. Just a little, little tiny bit of rock salt. Can you put a paper towel for me so we can wash the cup down in there? Let's make sure there's no salt in there. Yeah. Yep. 
four other gallon bags of strawberries over here. We're going to make um, homemade strawberry jam. So, yay. Just make sure I got all the salt out of there. And then you just pour your mix. Good. How do you get the um pour your mix in there? Sure like strawberries and sugar. I wanna taste it to make sure it has enough sugar in it before I start it. I should have done that before I put it up poured it all out, but if not, we'll just Good. Think it's good? I think it's good. Okay, well, what do you gotta get next? Okay. I got this because you got one of you at court. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the heavy whipping cream? Oh, yeah. I gotta get the whipping Whipping cream. I was just gonna put it on there without any whipping cream. I took them out because we're gonna do jam, but then I freaking got back home from getting all the sugar and stuff and realized I had to have a freaking deep pot to keep my jam jars hot. <laughs> So what size is that one, Mama? This one's a pint. I don't need more, a little more than this, though. Just pour it in. You know, there's recipes you can look at or whatever, but it's really just what you want to do and how thick or thin you want your ice cream to be or how sweet or unsweet or... We're going to try the dog some ice cream next. Mm -hmm. We got a couple of recipes that we looked at online for them. Huh? Can't do what? Put sugar in it. No, but it's uh, yogurt and um, strawberries, bananas, or watermelon. Or peanut butter. And uh, we can put... What the heck? What's this like? We got the thing on there. Yeah. You just say it's so open, it's going to go off, so I don't know if it had a little more. I bet it was a little more grandma. I'm just trying to get a hand. Yeah. You just as your eyes get full, you just add more ice and a little more rock salt each time. We're going to for about five or ten minutes and then we'll see if we need more ice. 